G'day, today we're gonna to be looking at the first of three different methods that can be used to mentally multiply any two digit numbers together. The one we're looking at today is the addition method. So as usual, I'm gonna put up a question, the type of question that we would be answering with this one. 54 multiplied by 23. Now, I'm just gonna show you the way the addition method works here, and then I'm gonna give you a couple of these that you can practice for yourself. So the way the addition method works is we're gonna break up one of these numbers into its constituent parts. We look for the one with the lower units digit, that is 23 here, and we're going to break it up into parts. And what I mean by that is 23 can be broken up into 20 as well as three. It's 20 plus three is equal to 23. And both of these are multiplying by 54. So times 54 times 54. Obviously, this is not something that would take any time in your head. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna be multiplying left to right for each one of these. So first off, we're gonna end up with 20 times 54, and then we're gonna end up with three times 54. And these are gonna be a cinch, especially if you have practiced how to do left to right multiplication with one and two digit numbers that I looked at in a previous video. That's why I put that one up there. So let's go through and do this. So first off, we have 20 times 54. Now this is the same as two times 54, but with a zero on the end. So going left to right, we're gonna end up with two times 50, and two times four. The answer is going to be 108 with a friendly zero on the end. Two times 54 is 108 with a zero on the end. You can do that pretty quickly mentally. Next, what you do is three times 54. Three times 50 is 150. Three times four is 12. 150 plus 12 is 162. Finally, what we're going to do is we add our two results together. 1080 plus 162 we add these together, we get our final answer of 1,242. So how's that? That's the addition method of mental multiplication. As you can see, there's a real necessity to be able to multiply from left to right, as we do here. And I really recommend if you haven't practiced these, look at my previous video. It's gonna be a link in the description below in the playlist and go through and practice on how to do these. It's really, really a necessity. So now what about I give a couple of these for you to practice on? So here's the first question for you to practice. 42 multiplied by 24, and we'll see what that equals. I'll give you a second question also to practice. What about this one? 61 multiplied by 47. And it's really by practicing these a number of times that you'll get better and better at doing this. You're not gonna get at the first question. It'll take you a number of questions to practice through, especially multiplying left to right. So anyway, pause the video and give these a go. By the way, if you like this trick, push down hard on the like button and subscribe for more math tricks. Have you done that? Let's have a look at the answers here. So the first question we have is 42 multiplied by 24. As I said before, we break up the number with the smaller units. So 42 breaks up into 40 and two. And it's going to be multiplying by 24 for both of those numbers. So by 24 and by 24. Now multiplying left to right, it's not too hard. So we've got four times 24 with a zero on the end. If you were to do that slowly, you'd be going that's 80 plus 16 is gonna be 96. So that's 960. And then we have two times 24, which is 48. Finally, what we do is we are going to add these two answers together and we get our answer, 1008. How did you go with that? So now to our second question, 61 multiplied by 47. Once again, we break up the number with a smaller unit. So that's 61 here. It breaks up into 60 and one. And both of these, we're gonna be mentally multiplying by 47. So times 47 and times 47. So multiplying left to right, first off we have 60 times 47. Now 60 times 47, think of it like six times 47 with a zero on the end. So six fours are 24, so six forties are 240. Seven sixes are 42, so that's gonna be 282 with a zero on the end. One times 47, well that's easy because that's just going to be 47. Finally, what we do once again is we add these guys together and we get our answer, 2,867. So anyway, how did you like that trick? That was the addition method of mental multiplication. Now for your homework, Practice a bunch of these questions and get confident with them. Not every question is going to be easy, but that's the thing with practice. You'll get better and better. I'm going to put a bunch of questions you can practice and then the answers, as you can see right now. 
As usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what you thought of this technique. A big thank you to my patrons. There is a link in the description below if you wish to support my channel, and it's greatly appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.